Hey guys, let's ignite some magnesium powder. Magnesium powder is highly flammable and ignites very easily. When burning, magnesium reaches a very high temperature, and after it burns out, a white powder remains, which is magnesium oxide. But what happens if we look at this powder under ultraviolet light? You can see orange specks, which are magnesium nitride, formed during the burning of magnesium in air due to its reaction with nitrogen. In this video, we are going to take a closer look at magnesium nitride. Because of its reactivity with moist air, magnesium nitride is best stored in a sealed ampule like this one. Magnesium nitride is a yellow-brown powder that actively releases ammonia in moist air, which can be detected by breathing a piece of paper soaked in phenolphthalein near the powder. The paper quickly turns a crimson color. If you pour magnesium nitride powder into water, it rapidly loses its original color and turns into a white powder of magnesium hydroxide, releasing a large amount of ammonia. Now I'll shine an ultraviolet flashlight on the magnesium nitride powder, and you can clearly see it fluoresces with an orange light. For a nicer shot, I drew the formula of this substance and then washed it off with water. Here is how the fluorescence of magnesium nitride fades when it reacts with hydrochloric acid. Just as elemental magnesium burns in oxygen, magnesium nitride also burns in oxygen, producing magnesium oxide and nitrogen. Interestingly, magnesium burns more intensely if you direct a stream of nitrogen at it. Here I am doing this with a liquid nitrogen sprayer. Watch this close up and in slow motion. Now let's see how burnt magnesium looks when we treated it with nitrogen from the sprayer. Yeah, this time we got a lot of orange magnesium nitride specks. And of course, I became very curious about what would happen if I tried to extinguish burning magnesium with liquid nitrogen, since liquid nitrogen usually works very well for putting out various fires. I poured a decent pile of magnesium powder on the table and ignited it. But then the question arose – how to safely pour liquid nitrogen onto it? Watching different chemistry videos on YouTube, I found a solution to this problem from a well-known chemistry YouTuber. I taped a thermos to a long stick and started pouring liquid nitrogen onto the burning magnesium. As you can see, due to the high temperature, the liquid nitrogen instantly evaporates on contact with the burning magnesium, creating a gas flow that sprays fine particles of burning magnesium, which in turn actively reacts with the nitrogen. That's why we can observe large fiery flashes when liquid nitrogen is added to burning magnesium. After all, fire stopped, 
Looking at the burnt magnesium among the white magnesium oxide, we see a lot of yellow magnesium nitride. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this fun video about extinguished burning magnesium with liquid nitrogen. Don't forget to leave your comments and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss my next interesting videos. Also, if possible, consider joining my patrons, who make it possible for chemistry videos to keep coming on this channel. I'm extremely happy and grateful to them. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.